Hello, today I'm going to explain you how to do a simple hello world with the new ASP32. For those of you who don't know it, uh, this is kind of the ASP266 Big Brother, the new Wi-Fi chip from Espressif. Uh, besides supporting Wi-Fi, it also has Bluetooth, uh, meaning that this is a very very versatile uh, device and is suitable for IoT applications. Uh, I will leave the link for this, uh, uh, this page, it's the Espressif official product page. But as you can see in the properties, one of the coolest features is that this uh, ship now has two cores running at 240 uh, megahertz, uh, making it a very powerful device. So I will leave this link in the description uh, and we will jump right to the, the um, installation of the Arduino IDE support. So as you can see here, uh, there's also a support for the Arduino IDE for the SP32, much very like uh, the support for the SP8266, and I think this is a very good, uh, um, a very good approach because uh, it makes the the device uh, available and easy to use for many makers uh, around the world, uh, myself included. I really like to use the Arduino IDE. It's very simple and uh, we don't need the complicated configuration of tool chains. So, uh, depending on the, the operating system you are using, uh, there are instructions on how to install it. Currently, at the time of, um, of doing this video, there is no support for using the Arduino the uh, Boards Manager, but uh, I think it's a matter of time until um, we can install it directly using the IDA. Uh, I'm using Windows. I'm just going to show you uh, a quick uh, a quick tour on the on this tutorial. But basically, we need to install the um, uh, install Git GUI so we can clone the, the this rep uh, repository. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, I did not do a post about it in my blog because uh, I think that the tutorial is uh, very easy to follow. Uh, so. The only thing we need to take in consideration is that, uh, uh, for example, in my case, the directory where I needed to install the, um, where I needed to clone the repo, uh, was not the same indicated here because my Arduino installation was in a different uh, folder. Also, we may need to run the the programs here uh, in administrator mode. So, for example, I'm going to show you here, git, wait, git GUI. Okay, for example, yeah, I'm on Windows 8, so uh, I need to execute as administrator. Uh, my OS is in Portuguese, but um, you should see execute as administrator. So uh, uh, Git can create all the folders needed. After that, you'll end up uh, with a folder where you need to run this uh, get.x file. Uh, the same way you need, you may need to run it, uh, it as administrator, and then you are good to go. After that, you just need to select the um, the board on your uh, Arduino IDE, uh, and uh, basically run your program. I'm going to show you that uh, just in a moment. So after concluding the installation procedure, just open your Arduino IDE. Um, you should now get uh, new boards on your uh, tools board uh, boards manager. Well, since I'm using some of uh, a generic uh, board about the SP32, and since we are in the beginning of the product life cycle, um, the vendor still uses generic names, so I don't really know the name of my board. Uh, I bought it on eBay. I will leave a link if you want to buy one. So I'm using this option, SP32 dev model, uh, and it is working just fine. Um, maybe we, with the time we will get uh, more accurate names, such as the famous Node MCU for the SP8266. But for now, this uh, will have to do. Uh, so for the actual coding, uh, this will be very simple. In the setup uh, function, we'll, we will open a serial connection. Uh, keep in mind that you need to have this same baud rate on the um, on the serial monitor uh, to get the correct output. And then in the main loop, we'll do a serial print hello world uh, with a small delay of two seconds. I'm going to upload this for the board so you can see. 
uh, I already had, but I will repeat the procedure. So it's compiling the sketch, uh, but as uh, we will see, the uploading process is much much faster than the SPA266, which is very cool. So as you can see, it's uploading now. Okay, it's done. Uh, this are the resetting message is normal, no problem. You don't need to worry about it. So now I will just open the serial monitor. It prints some uh, some information. Uh, it's better than the SPA266, which printed uh, garbage. And here we go. We have the hello world message. And this is it. It's very simple to get started with the SP32. Uh, I will leave the link for my blog in the description. I will be doing a lot of tutorials on this uh, device. Hopefully some videos too. Um, thanks for watching.